Here we go. For the office computer, no doubt. Nicely done, 47. Should allow you to move more freely. Bodies, male and female, early 30s, executed. I see them. Oh, poor bastards. Looks like Reynard's grisly handy. Work all right. She was never shy about collateral damage. The owners? Don't think so. The house is registered to a non-existing environmental NGO. This feels more like identity theft. Like you, Reynard is known to use disguises. Hmm. Keep looking, 47. Nothing we can do for these people now. I'm in. is a top Providence anywho, operative, like I said, uh, but we can't get near shout. him, so I decided Sorry, to, the, the repair guy. well, do a bit of outsourcing. Oh, could you fix me a cup of tea? Sure thing. You want sugar? Honey? Um, sugar. No problemo. Mr. Donovan. Who I am is not important. You have seen the pictures, yes? Good. I will tell you exactly what to do. Do it swiftly and without question, and your wife and children go free, unharmed. Refuse or hesitate, and your family dies. Attempt to signal or warn anybody, and your
your family dies. Do we have terms? Mm, not very convincing, Mr. Donovan. Take a deep breath and try again. Much better. Now, you will take the stairs up to the rooftop helipad where your boss, Rupert Pierce, is taking his morning jog. You will inform... Pierce, lure him close to the edge and toss him off the building. Hey, you want green tea? What do you think? You heard me, Mr. Donovan. The life of your boss for the life of your wife and daughters. Shouldn't be much of a choice, even for a workaholic. Do you understand me? Your family suffers the consequences. Best of luck, Mr. Donovan. We thank you for your sacrifice. Is it done? Good as. And Mr. Donovan's wife and children? The guys will let them go at the stroke of midnight, unless I say otherwise. Boss's orders. You know how squeamish he gets about collateral damage. Well done, 47. Now get off the property. your boat, 47. They're on high alert, combing the beach for intruders. Proceed with caution. <laughs> 